Okay, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. I'm gonna do your classic Delmonico potatoes. It's uh, basically like, uh, I guess you'd call it a um, scallop potato, but with cheese. And uh, I'm gonna use my favorite American cheese. Everybody dishes, dishes it, this is it. But American cheese, what would we do without it? We no, no uh, uh, macaroni and cheese, and uh, you know we got our uh, uh, grilled cheese. And uh, so, you know, everybody knocks it down, but it's a good cheese. And, uh, but it's out of Delmonico Steakhouse in New York. So, we got the, again, my favorite Yukon Gold potatoes. Got them diced. You know, not too small diced, you know, good size. Okay. You'll see how quick this is now, because we'll do them, uh, basically this is real time, so. See, I got my hot water going before I dice the potatoes. Put them in. Simmer them down. Okay. Now in this skillet here, I'm gonna make uh, the sauce. Okay. And then, uh, here, put the sauce. I got some onion. So kind of, kind of finer dice, because we want the potatoes to be the standout. Okay. Okay, then we're going to do a little bit of uh, the bell pepper. We don't need to overcook this veg because it's going to cook in a casserole in the oven, in a casserole dish. Okay, of course, you know me, we got to put some garlic on it. Always get your garlic going a little bit. Okay. Need a little bit of half and half, guys. We have any nutmeg? We need a little bit of fresh nutmeg. Okay. Got the leeks. The diced leeks. Okay. Now right away, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour in it. Okay, flour. To make, you know, make a roux while while the vegetables are cooking. We'll cook that real good. Then okay, a little salt and pepper. Okay, a little bit of salt and pepper. Not too much because the cheese is gonna be. Okay. Add the half and half. Okay. Half and half. Half and half about a, about a cup. About half a cup of cream. And we're gonna do some fresh grated nutmeg. The nutmeg stayed here in Connecticut. Okay. Yeah, there's one, one recipe, a little fresh grated nutmeg is good. Okay. Okay, and then there's a little bit of Gruyere left over from another potato recipe I did. And then we've got, uh, got some good old American. Okay. Good old American cheese. I'm going to say just a little bit for the top. Put the American in there. Now whoever doesn't like American cheese, you can stop now. That's it. You don't need to be watching my videos. Okay? Right, Bob? Or you don't agree? Okay, we're going to let that come up to a boil and simmer. Our potatoes are cooking nicely. And just let this simmer down for about uh, five or ten minutes, the sauce. Okay, you'll see it'll thicken way up. Okay, I'm gonna drain these potatoes. They're like, uh, they're like three-quarter cooked, okay? They're still, I mean, they're soft, they're, they're cooked all the way through. Okay? 
a little bit of Parmesan. Oh, I don't like that. I'm making a mess here. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna put them in the casseroles, buttered casserole dish. Put it just a little bit more sauce over the top. Make sure they're covered. Okay. Then a little bit of our American on top. Don't ever be ashamed to use American cheese. Okay. Use it and be proud. That's what we grew up on, right Bob? Oh yeah. I mean don't think don't try to pretend you're some spring chicken. Okay? Okay, right here. A little bit more cheese on top. Here's a classic, uh, you got any green onions, Josh? Yeah. Huh? You got some already cut? Josh, my main man. Going over his own place. It might be the last of having Josh in the background. He's opening up Chef's Choice. Nice little restaurant over on Golden Street. But I know he'll be around. He's not leaving us completely. So anyway, right in the oven until they bake golden brown and bubbly. Just like Josh's personality. Except for the golden brown. All right, here you go, right in the oven. See? Alrighty. Hey, uh, let's check those dolphin water. Not dolphin. Excuse me. Let's check. Okay, let's check our uh, our our Delmonico potatoes. Look at that, man. It's similar to the dolphin water, but altogether different. Different taste. Remember, we put the American cheese in there. But listen, I'm not gonna. I don't know about you, Bob, but I'm not ready to saw into that yet. Like like the. Uh, Dolphin wise, we're gonna let them set up for about 10 minutes before we taste them, okay? See how bubbling hot they are? You sit, uh, sit them on a dinner table, they're good. They stay hot for 20, 30 minutes. All right, let's check out our, our uh, Delmonico potatoes. They've been sitting on the back burner for a while. Should be nice and cool. Yeah, see? These are like scalloped potatoes, but take it to an scallop potatoes on steroids. Mm. Some are dolphin wild but different, you know. American cheese and the uh, the peppers, you know, they really come out when you uh, you know when you're sampling it. You wanna try it Josh? with Yukon gold potatoes. Huh? You like them? Mm -hmm. Really good. Yep. Don't worry, we're double dipping, but this is ours. We're not serving this one. Does Daddy Jack's cool with the blues? Come and check it out sometime. Make this at home for your family. Uh, like Bob was saying, a little uh, like a baked ham, or you can put you can even put some ham in this, and you know, like uh high-end uh, scallop potatoes. Uh, but it's Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. My friend Bob Jacko couldn't have done any of these videos without you. All the time and energy you put into it. I can't, I can't express how much I appreciate it. You believed in what we're doing, teaching the world to cook on the internet. It's a wonderful thing. We're getting so many responses. Almost 500,000 uh, uh, hits. Uh, we've been at it, what now, four years, Bob? Almost four years. Uh, it's just starting to snowball, and it's all because uh, people are uh, getting it, you know, what we're trying to put out. You know, it's uh, simple, demystifying, as I said before, cooking, and, uh, and now we got almost 150 recipes in the can. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoy all these new recipes, and, uh, and come visit us, and uh, keep, keep uh, watching us. Stay tuned for all the new recipes. Bon appetit.